This isn't gonna work well. <laughs> it's fun. Sometimes he's naughty. Sometimes he's nice. But every time he's Dirt Guy. It's Dirt Guy Drive Time with your host, Dirt Guy. Hey, welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time. This is my personal vlog where I talk about all kinds of crap on my way home from work on my normally two to three hour commute. Boom, baby. Commute's a little better today though because of a couple of things. One, people don't like to go out in the rain and only the crazy people do apparently. And two, everybody's buying toilet paper. So they're not here right now on the road. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. Listen, that's the kind of stuff we do here on uh, Dirt Guy Drive Time. So if you're into that, make sure and subscribe and do it now before you watch too much of this video and just change your mind. Just, hey, <laughs> nope. Sorry, that was a bad decision. Uh, but whatever you do, don't thumbs down the video, okay? Because every thumbs down is like a dagger in my heart. Yeah, I can take it, whatever. I don't have a heart. I'm heartless. I'm a superintendent. So uh, I'm gonna give you a, just a couple of, uh, yeah, a couple, maybe just one, one, one work-related thing. Um, and that is yesterday, remember I was telling you how uh, I ran into that little problem where I, I put a cone in my six and then that I got a sound talking to by the owner of the project. Uh, reminding me that it's their building and they're writing the checks and I need to do what damn well they tell me to do. You know, it didn't sit well with me uh, through uh, the evening and didn't sit well with me on my way to work this morning. So I got to work and I'm thinking about it. Da, 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 and I just sent him a personal email just between him and I. Basically telling him that I was struggling with this and um, I'm sorry that my, my actions would lead him to believe that I in any way was not in agreement with the fact that they're the owner, they're the ones writing the checks. And I told him it's my mission, my motivation is to deliver to you folks a superior product so that you're beyond pleased when you we hand you the keys to your new hotel. And that's serious, that's sincere. That's what I tell all my subs. That's what motivates me. Sometimes I get pissed off and start yelling, although I'm trying to be more velvety. I start yelling because uh, it's like, this looks like crap. What do you even do? I thought we were professionals here. That kind of thing, you know? So that's a sincere deal. I want this building to look good, baby, when it's done. Although I'll never stay there because I know who built it. So anyway, there you go. So I get a uh, text from uh, Cindy Brown, the queen of everything today. She was at a, uh, a market uh, in a nearby town to buy some goods. And she said, my God, you won't believe it. The meat counter is almost empty. And people in line with her are all stocking up on like long-term goods, canned goods, things that'll last a while. And I said, well, from what I heard, you better get some toilet paper while you're there. And she said, they don't have any. And you know something? Here's the deal. Here's, here's where I'm at on this. And like I said, I don't know that it's appropriate to start making a bunch of jokes on this one. But I gotta tell you how I feel about this. How many remember the movie Live Free or Die Hard? Who remembers that movie? Huh? Remember that movie? There was a, a dude that launched a fire sale on the United States of America where they took out the power, where they're taking out the power grid, the um, stock market, and some other chingadera. I can't remember what it was. Um, three things, if you did those things, the, the country couldn't recover from it. And so, guess what? There's, there's a couple different ways, I would say, that... Now, there, there's a word that starts with T and ends with errorist that I'm not going to use. Instead, I'll use the term Billy Bob. I think that Billy Bob is what I'll say. When you hear me say Billy Bob, I'm referring to the people that we would normally call a T errorist. Now, I have to do that because YouTube keeps flagging my damn videos every time I talk about something like this. So, so Billy Bob, right? <clears throat> So the goal of Billy Bob is to uh, invoke uh, fear, panic, chaos into um, the people that are Billy Bobbing, okay? So there's a couple ways you can do that. <clears throat> One, you can just do the whole ripcord on yourself and watch little pieces of you just fly everywhere. You can do that. Uh, you can do it in such a heinous way where parents are afraid to send their children to school or where people are afraid to go to a theater or 
you know, whatever. Uh, people are afraid to fly. Remember that one from a few years ago where um, Billy Bob was flying an airplane and uh, next thing you know, uh, you know what I'm saying. So there's, that's, that's, a, that's a way to do a little Billy Bob action <clears throat> that way. Um, but the ultimate goal is terror, disruption, chaos, panic. That is, uh, I use the T word. Now nah, I'm going to get flagged, I think. All right, that's the goal. So let me ask you, what's going on in the United States of America, nay, the world right now? What's happening? I would say um, panic, chaos, uh, people freaking out, uh, schools closing, no public events. State of California is, I heard tell, thinking of making it uh, illegal, if you will, to be in a crowd larger than 50 people. 50 people. And this is this is all troubling me. Now, now I'm not going to concentrate on the whole death toll thing because quite frankly, from what I understand about this this heinous uh, Billy Bob happening is uh, I I may transmit it, but I, I nothing's going to happen to me, all right? Not only that, I'm on keto, baby. Keto's strong. I'm just telling you that right now. <clears throat> but I could inadvertently <clears throat> uh, touch something and then touch the wife who then touches my daughter who then touches my mother-in-law that she lives with who's like 80 years old and already has um, OCPD, OPC, deep something, some breathing disorder, she could become a victim and it could have terrifying consequences. I use the T word again. Son of a Billy Bob. Anyway, so, okay, I get that and that's fine. But but he, here's the thing and, and not to be callous, but if you think about it, the, uh, the, the death toll or whatever, I'm not certain warrants the actions that we're taking right now. Uh, from what I've heard, it's bizarre. I mean, the stock market is going ape shit. Uh, people are running out of supplies at the stores, and now they're closing events where people can't work. Now the government's going to be bailing out major industries, airlines, and things like that, because nobody's flying. And we, because I'm not going to get in a plane. Somebody's got no corona. Uh, unless you, uh, you're buying the Coronas, in which case I might be with you. Except there's too many carbs in a Corona, frankly. Ooh, that's the thing. I'm not going to get the coronavirus because I don't do carbs. Oh, I was probably too dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to do with me sometimes. So uh, as we watch the world slowly unwind, let's take it to its next logical step, okay? Now people are running out of toilet paper because they've been quarantined. Have you ever seen any of those movies where they invoke martial law and one of the first things they do is tell you to stay in your house, you can't come out of your house. Another thing they do is they ban gatherings of larger than a certain size and on and on. Uh, people start freaking out that they don't have the kind of supplies and stuff they need and so suddenly now they start rioting, now they start attacking one another because they need the supplies. Normally sane, rational people will form a mob mentality and go and just lose it. You know how hard it is to work in a business that's relationship based, you can't shake anybody's hand? Matter of fact, where you're, you, somebody coughs and you, you got to make sure you're six freaking feet away from them and tell them to leave your trailer? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I honestly uh, think the possibility exists that the new fire sale is to introduce some sickness that will not eliminate the entire population. Uh, I think that's too obvious, right? Um, you introduce that sickness and then you whip everybody into a frenzy with the media. You whip them into a frenzy. Now panic starts. And then you, uh, you let them just clean out all the stores, make it so they can't travel, they can't go to sporting events. My daughter was supposed to go to Paris with her Signif uh, coming up here pretty quick. And now they can't go because they can get in, they can't come back. Who knows how long only these, you know, this is gonna happen. Cindy, I, the first lady of auto railroading, next weekend we're gonna go see Brantley Gilbert in concert, one of my favorite country artists, but 
the place we go, shut down. They won't let you go in anymore. So what else are they going to shut down before this is over? I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm i telling you, uh, it's a little uh, it's a little Billy Bob attack is what it is. Or could be. And so I'm not afraid of getting some, uh, becoming a Corona night. I'm not afraid of that. But I am afraid of what's going to be happening on the street of my neighborhood when somebody starts freaking out because they can't wipe their ass with a piece of paper. And so they're like breaking into your house to, to steal yours. I'll tell you what, you can have my toilet paper. Um, you can have most of the stuff you guys are going crazy about. You can, hey, look, my sink still works. I can get water, okay? And I live by a lake, so I'll just go to the lake and drink. Give me some mosquitoes for protein. That's what I think I'll do. Um, but you can't touch my beer. I will I will knock your shit to the curb if you touch my beer. But uh, I'm just sort of in fear. Not, not in fear. Um, concerned about how unnecessarily this could continue to spin up. Whipped into a frenzy by the media. Looking for ratings. How stores will use this as an excuse to jack their prices way up. You know what? What if this was started by the toilet paper manufacturers? I'm putting that together now. Conspiratard alert! Well, I said tard. Now I'm definitely going to get blackballed. Conspiratard stuff. Yeah, put the virus out. And then you put a better stock up on toilet paper slant on it. As people start buying up all the toilet paper, now people are freaking out because the toilet paper is all being bought up. So they got to go buy theirs and stock up in case we run out. But because we're running out, more people are freaking out to buy it. And then we do run out. What's changed? I, I don't know. Why, why are we stocking up on toilet paper? Anyway, that's where I'm at on the deal. So, you know, um, enough of that. I'm going to switch gears real quick. Uh, here's what's coming up the weekend. Very excited about uh, those of you who enjoy It's My Railroad. Uh, I've got a new video coming out tomorrow on how I took my uh, <clears throat> my scratch-built bridge and installed it and landscaped around it on my layout. Very excited about that. Also, Cindy Brown, uh, myself, and, uh, well, Cindy Brown, the first lady of Monterey Roading, and I will be doing our Track Smack show tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Pacific, live chat with our members over there. Always awesome, always a lot of fun. And then Cindy and I are gonna spend the rest of the weekend shooting a video for how I made her a tumbler turner it's basically a motor that turns a cup when she epoxies it i made her one and we're gonna shoot making another one because cindy brown the queen of everything is getting lots of orders for these tumblers and they got to sit there for like four hours and turn and so we're limited by how many turners we have so we're make a video how-to video on that that's going on the dirt cheek studios channel which continues to grow even though we haven't put out a video in like freaking six months <laughs> Check that out. We have one video that's that's pushed. Oh, we already paid attention. So we looked and they go, how the hell did we get 5,000 views on this video? And it's still ramping up. It's still going. Damn, I wish that channel was monetized. Anyway, there you go. I hope you have a uh, safe, sane um, weekend. I hope you don't run out of toilet paper. I hope you got enough food to eat. And I hope you don't get whipped into a frenzy like all the other sheep out there right now. Anyway. Until I see you on Monday without the coronavirus, on my way to work, probably on an isolated freeway. No one will be on it but me. Um, my name is Steve Brown, and have a great weekend, everybody.